Okay, we kinda back. I did some grinding and yeah, let's continue. Oh boy. Zavid, you all right? Not for long. Stop. I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried. She pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. <laughs> so what? It's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? No! Oh no, he lost the gun. It's now. <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side. Zavid's an idiot, but he stands by his beliefs. I won't let anyone trample their creeds. Oh, this is Aizen moment. Even you! Wait, isn't that they release him? Everything I freed. And now it's time to pay it back. Boss fight. Oops. How come nice? I mean, oh. Okay, I need to cheat a little. Which one give me? Oh no, you're Wait. Okay. 
Taking hostages now. No, that's I'm not. Sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. Oh, you make a big mistake. All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away fell from my grasp but a certain idiot once told me if you can't hold something in your hand then make a fist and take it by force this fist will take everything back just like you told me to nice one. Oh. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? I feel so sorry putting this accessory. I don't know why, but I have like this like putting this accessory in the wrong place. Is he dead? You're talking that? A demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? But... Aizen, you were searching for Eifried for so long! <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power comes from being part of Inominat. We kinda know that. Which means, if you can seal off his domain, you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight. Seal off his domain? The four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the Earth pulses. If you can rouse them from their slumber. Hurry, while Artorius and Inominat are occupied. They're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Well, I guess I freed. <laughs> I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Access you from... See you, I freed. Well, although we barely see this character, he really let the mark. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot about you. I owe you one, Zavid. Yeah, see you in the next game. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score between me and your creed. I cannot doubt that. 
See you around, Zavid. <laughs> I can't. I don't know why, but just speak. Level up. Man, they are all level up. Well, we back from square one. Now we have to spin and run the full so we need to guts. Wake the four elemental Empyreans? But how do we do it? Dunno. Maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they <laughs> You're back. <laughs> and you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire. And ask her about the four Empyreans. Eisen. Oh, this is gonna be sad. Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. Ah, they got new titles. Man. Why the journey? Resurrect the elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? Oh, bye. Yep. The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All we got the is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect. You're Etherian. You're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's Are we done, guys? Least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, Forming a life pool, though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Huh? Oh, so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand, but I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killerouse. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killerouse? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! I shall Actually, Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... 
It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Come on, guys. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helavis. Oh boy. Well, this was something. Now we have two boats. Time to go to the new area. Come on, come on. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. The no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. The unknown man that we killed that was. Hey, where did you go? Ah, oh, skip. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that, turning them into a puppet, it's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. Please don't make this into Kingdom Hearts. Please, I really don't want this. Okay, to the next area. What is that? I see. Or a Calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are, without a doubt, the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? Not quite. You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Why are you pen? There's no the head. <laughs> Why did you pen? He has no head. We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. And the world is free of malevolence. Hurrah, hurrah. Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Yep. Uh, something's coming. Oh no, what is it? Huh? 
Oh, he's animated. Wait, isn't that? Nice view. Yep, yeah, this is who who the bell. No free will. will. Oh, walking a line. Are we doing it? Hey, uh, please, guys, let's not fight. Is that, is that gonna affect us? This is a domain? You know me not domain. Guys? Their wills have been stolen. It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him up! Huh? Aizen. Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! And we get to say there. Ah, I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh boy. They, they are ready for us. Look, it's that merchant. You're all right. I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Uh, no, wait! Stop! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. <laughs> Stop I have him! To die. Give him a stop! I have to die. I have to die. No, it's not! Oh, well, that works. You can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First, they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies. We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right, I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Good thing we can. We'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. Already? Wait, are we taking the boat or? Oh, no, let's keep. Suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? The end! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens... It's better to end the life of the sinner. Melkier came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, 
We need to get to Logris. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression? Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. Wait, you're not this game? Oh boy. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Oof. The Nominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along then. Well, are we gonna free in the free will? I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow, look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Enominot suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. 